Gossamer thread was the last thing that was mixed when we were finishing off both the albums. Uh, it's a track that we laboured over. And I had this thing that I didn't want to just... We couldn't quite get the arrangement right. It was complicated. It was one hell of a take we were looking for. Well, actually, I'll, I'll illustrate it. Let me... Um, it's not going to work on this guitar. I'll have to get another one. We were doing these very intense sessions where we were doing like seven or eight of these sort of six or seven minute long takes one after the other. Possibly this one. And changing the arrangement subtly and bringing the snare in here and not there and changing the chord sequence here. And... No, it's not that one. Which one is it? I didn't want to sit there in front of the computer chopping up various things to create what was the right flow after the event. I was obsessed with making the changes and then starting all over again from the beginning. This one? Oh yeah, here we are. I think that we wore ourselves out trying to do it. <laughs> so, um... It's just like, look, that's something, something about this song I just... Talking with the old folks by the wall. The weariness was such that we literally didn't touch this thing until we got it up in the mix. So, oh yeah, what about that one? Let's see what that sounds like. Dreaming about New Orleans in the fall. I'm grateful for the time that God allows. And as soon as we put it through the speakers, it's like what exactly what we'd set out to do. The whole thing just sounded complete. Well, lit up like the national grid. Hanging by Gossamer's thread. Yeah. Yeah. It's all the, um, it's basically all the choruses, because I had lots of <laughs> lines that rhymed with gossip and threat, and I wanted to use them. It was this sort of derelict, uh, sort of maybe druggy, drunk, just someone, a damaged person, uh, on the periphery of things, drifting. That's how, that's my image of it. Someone who's got like, no way back into the, the comfortable world, a homeless person, essentially. That's, that's where, where my head goes with it. I'm sort of in America, just hanging out on a street corner somewhere. So, um, yeah, anyway, then it has this uplifting sort of conclusion with this three part harmony type vocal thing really gets going and um, kind of releases, I suppose, a bit of tension. 